welcome back. Today we've got another warm up to get you moving, a little quiz on your music theory. We're going to get you dancing with another Kaylee dance. We'll then hear a tune from Sarah and finishing off with the second part of our song. Here we go. So this is a warm up we've done a couple of times now, you should know it. It's called Thesskerma. At the very end, we get down as low as we can, jump up as high as we can, and shout Thesskerma, which in Gaelic means. Did you get it? It means good afternoon or good evening. So, Thesskerma, try and remember that for the end. For the rest of it, we're going to move all our body parts, counting up to eight in Gaelic again if you can. So, Let's get ready. Up at your seats, grab some other people around the house. Let's see if we can get moving. So, with the right hand to start, up to eight. Ready? Ungati ker koichi a shak o. 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 Ungati ker koichi a shak. 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 Ungati ker koichi a. Ungati ker koichi a. Ungati ker koichi a. Ungati ker koichi a. Ungati ker koichi. 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 Ungati ker. Ungati ker. Ungati ker. Ungati ker. Ungati. 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 Unga. 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 In. 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 Thanks, Karma. Okay, so back to doing some music theory now. You've learned all your lines, so if you remember that was every good boy deserves fun. And you've learned the spaces, which read out the word face. So the bottom space was an F, the one above that was an A, the one above that was a C, and the one above that was an E. So now that you know all the lines and the spaces, we're going to make it one step harder. And we're going to give you some words using musical code. So, if the word was egg, it would look like this. So, you would have to work out, using what you know about the lines and the spaces, what note it was. So that would tell you that you had E, a G, and another G, and then you can work out that that makes the word egg. So this is just to test you a wee bit more on your lines and spaces and getting into the habit of using them. So there's going to be eight different words and write them down on your paper as they come up on the screen and then we'll put all the answers up and you can see how many you got right. So here's your first one. Hopefully you've got that now, if not, press pause. If you've got that and you're ready to move on, here's your second one. Hopefully you've got that one now, here's your third one. If you've got that one, here's your fourth one. Hopefully you've got that one. Here's your fifth one. If you've got that one, here's your sixth one. If 
If you've got that one, here is your seventh one. And to finish off, here's a wee bit of a longer word. What is this? So that was quite fast. If you've missed any of them and you want to double check your answers, we're gonna put all of the words up now and you can pause the screen, double check you've got it all and then we'll put up the answers next. Okay, so hopefully you've got all of that now, you've worked it all out, here are the answers and let's see how many you got right. Great, so now you've got into the hang of using your lines and your spaces, you've taken the first step into reading music, well done. Today's Kayleigh dance is the St Bernard's Waltz, a nice gentle one. You do need a partner for this, but of course we're going to teach you all the steps. Now, where's my partner? Hiya! Oh hi Tom! Hiya. Let's get going. So, the first step's really easy. Hold both hands together and take three steps one way. So, one, two, Three, and then stamp, stamp. Then two steps back away. One, two. Two steps towards one of your partners. One, two. Two steps the other way. One, two. Underneath the arm. And then holding both hands, round for four. One, two, three, four. Very good. If we join that all together, we're going to take three steps one way. One, two, three. Then stamp, stamp. Back the other way. One, Two, two steps towards one partner, one, two, two steps back, one, two, and then underneath the arm, then holding both hands, round we go, one, two, three, four, very good. Okay, time for some music now. Grant, are you ready? Ready. Great, let's get going with the St Bernard's Waltz. Back for two. Two steps one way. Two other way. Underneath the arm. And ready we go. Three and four. Three steps. Stamps. Back for two. Into me. One, two. Back for two. Underneath the arm. Ready we go. Three step, step, back for two. for my nephew. He's only four years old and he's really funny, he always makes me laugh. So I thought I would write a nice happy tune for him. And for your task today, I thought you could draw um, a few members of your family or even some of your friends and then you could write next to it what character trait they have that you really like about them. So for Callan, it's that he's so funny, he makes me laugh. So that's your task today. And this is Callan's jig.
going to carry on now with our song Jimmy's Lost His Jory. So we started this in the last lesson and we learned that Jimmy lost his jory during the stanky, which means he's dropped his marble down the drain. And he went and got a stretcher, but the stretcher couldn't reach it. And then he went and got the police. He shoved the police down the stanky, the policeman. Terrible idea. Don't recommend that. And But then the police couldn't reach either. So we know now, because I told you, that he's going to get his granny next. So let's find out what happens next. We'll put up the words and we're going to sing it right from the top all the way to the bottom. So sing along with us. Take it away, Gran. Sorry, if you've lost something before you go blowing up your granny or shoving policemen down the drain or blowing up half of Glasgow, check your pocket first. Mm -hmm. 